Hey guys! Welcome back to our quarantine channel. We're in the basement, as you can tell. Our basement is unfinished and very dirty, right? If you're wondering why we're in the basement, it's because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we are very active people. I'm not as active as I once was because I'm tired. I'm a mom and I'm tired and I work and I come home and I clean and I'm just tired. So I'm not as active as I used to be, um, but Gio is still very active. And if you have followed us from one of our very, very first-ish videos, you will know that Gio and I actually met at the gym and we were workout buddies and I would say we were pretty good friends before we started dating and then we started dating and now we're here in our home gym that he made for us. Let me flip this camera around. So this is our basement. This is where Gio, who goes to the gym four to five days a week before we closed down, uh, before the world shut down, he was at the gym, I mean, often. He only took one or two days off. So this is, the poor guy now is stuck in the basement. But, you know, we're making it work. He had some of this equipment from when he was in high school. Um, at his parents' house and we just brought it here. Um, and we're making work with what we do. But one thing that he's been missing is like a pulley at the gym and just to be able to kind of pull and manipulate weight a little bit differently. So he just created this and I am gonna show you how he did it. But first I'm gonna let him explain a little bit. So for starters, before we get into the video, I will say that uh, <laughs> I look a little rough. So I have been running around all day um, I did work out in the morning. We did kind of eat a lot of sushi, so <laughs> that explains it a little bit. But most importantly, I wanted to let you guys know that um, I don't want to, well, the, the phone was already like by my mouth. <laughs> so, so I don't want to take credit for anything that I did. Um, this was kind of just me um, thinking of how I can do things myself. I've always been that type of person. So I got the idea from an ad on Facebook um, and it looked really, really simple, like, like really simple. And they were charging obviously a lot for it because it was their idea. So I just took their idea and I made my own. So check it out. What's going on over here? I'm going to show you guys how to make a do-it-yourself pulley for working out. Um, so I got the idea from a Facebook ad that I saw and they were wanting an insane amount of money for something super, super simple. So I thought that we would do like a do it yourself, a pulley, you know, you could do a million different things with it. So I want to show you guys. So this is the receipt. You could kind of see, I spent $50 in total for everything. But here's the thing, I had to get specific um, things to make sure that it mounts to where I'm gonna be putting it. So there's a couple things that I have that you don't necessarily need, but you get the general idea of what you're gonna be needing. So we'll first start off with... This is like a $50 or less home workout pulley. Yes. Like a multi-purpose. So here's the thing, there's... <laughs> There's attachments that you're gonna need. So if you wanna do like ropes, if you wanna do handles, if you wanna do like a let pull down. Um, so those things obviously aren't included with this, but the general concept of making yourself your own pulley is, is super cheap. So here is the pulley that I got. So there was a couple different types of this pulley. The reason why I got this is because it's a swivel in two different directions. So I got this one just for a little bit more versatility. So that's the pulley that we're gonna be using. Now the cable, it just depends on what store you go to. So I went to Menards and um, I think Home Depot offers something similar, but it's something that you cut yourself. So I just wanted to get something that was kind of more convenient than anything. This could have been a little bit cheaper if I would have really looked at different stores, but I was just kind of like, let me just get everything in one store just yeah. for the just for the no hassle. This is gonna be like, I mean, plenty. So this line is rated up to 340 pounds. <laughs> you wanna get them? Yeah. 
He's over. He's complaining. He's fine. <laughs> he just wants attention. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> he got a little grumpy. So, Parent life. Um, I'm gonna be rocking him with my foot, so I might be doing this. <laughs> so, um, wire. I got 50 feet of it. It's way more than I need. I'm realistically probably only going to use um, probably about 10 feet of it. Um, so now we have the pulley, we have the cable wire. I have, uh, I don't know the specific term of these, thimbles, I guess. So we're going to use these where we end up attaching the... I don't want to say the term of these just because it sounds weird. The spring snaps. <laughs> What's the other term? Um, I think it's carabiner. <laughs> I might be wrong, so <laughs> don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, load limit of these are 200 pounds. There's a ton of different types of these. They go up to like 400 pounds or like some crazy weight. The thing to keep in mind is you're going to be doing a lot of accessory work with all of this. So don't buy something that's crazy overload. So thimbles, I bought a few of these just in case, again, if I wanted to make something later down the road, because that's another reason why I spent so much money is because this is to make multiple pulleys. And then I bought like these clamps. So the reason behind these are this is what we're going to make the loop with, with these, which I'll go over a little bit later. But I bought a handful of these just because they're good to have. Um, I'm probably going to use two or three of these in one spot just in case. Um, just for more protection, honestly. This is going to be my mount that I use when I show you guys where I'm going to be putting it. So again, this is might be another thing that you guys don't really need. And I think this was like five bucks. But this is up to 400 pounds. And then the last thing that I have is I bought chain. So for now, I bought this because it was only $5 and it's 10 feet of chain. So this is going to serve two different purposes. The first is going to be so you could attach the weights onto um, the spring, whatever this is called. <laughs> but it's to mount this to the weight. So if you could imagine this. Your pulley is up here. <laughs> this attachment is gonna be at the very bottom and you're gonna have this chain loop through the weights and onto this. So next step is gonna be showing you guys where I'm gonna be putting it. Stay tuned. Can you show us your biceps? No. <laughs> There's this metal support beam. Um, everybody, I know that everybody that's an expert is going to say, oh my God, this is like crucial for the stabilization of the home, whatever it's for. Um, it's literally going to be for pulling. We're probably going to add maybe 50, 60, 70 pounds to it. It's not like we're going to be hanging um, four, five, 600 pounds. To it. goggles yeah that was a workout I'm not gonna lie so I don't know were you recording before yeah so you guys will see <laughs> within like 10 seconds of me doing this I first the step was 100% right you should be wearing safety goggles because these are all metal shavings that are all over me oh perfect and um, you will see that one went straight down my shirt and uh, I, was do you have glasses? I was trying not to freak out. So, do you have glasses? Um, I do. It's just I have no clue where they're at. So, again, if you guys have to drill anything, 100% wear glasses. Do not do what I just did. Lord be with us. Okay, so now, as you guys can see, I got the four bolts on. It's hanging, it's going to be pretty sturdy. Even like these clips are only up to 200 pounds so <laughs> sebastian's trying to tell you guys too so <laughs> wow just like that just like that this will be the next step and i'll show you guys how this is going to work out i did a little bit on the side 
before I started recording just to show you guys so I didn't struggle on camera. Do you guys see the loop that I'm making? That's gonna be where this thing goes. You basically want to wrap the wire around and have this kind of seal that. Here's one of them. So here's the finished product. So I'm just putting two of them on it. So, and remember, we're gonna put one of the clips. That's literally what I'm, what I'm gonna call them. I'm not gonna use specific terms. I'm gonna just put one of these clips down below. So this will be the weight, where the weight goes, at the very bottom. So if you take a look at the bottom portion of it, the reason why I got chains is eventually when you're doing reps, the weight will start doing this. So and to prevent that, that's why I got those chains. Because the chains are gonna stay on the ground and that's gonna prevent the weight from being able to move as much. Daddy you go the nuts at gym? No? Are you lazy? You don't wanna work out? No? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> These cheap wire cutters. Um, so I've already cut once. Steph literally laughed because I was like ready to fight this thing. Look at this. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna film this because I know this is gonna be, and then it cut and he was like, so easy. <laughs> yeah. It was really funny. I was ready for a fight, <laughs> nope. Okay. I'll probably have to mess around with having maybe two chains on there. Two chains? <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> wow. Two chains is going to be two on chains. there. Don't play with your two chains on there. <laughs> <laughs> Just so the weight is more stable. Bang for the buck, this makes sense. It's perfect. It literally is. Ultimately, like if I wanted to do a pull down, you guys can actually see the change. So the angle and I have a full range of motion. <laughs> so it's awesome. Are you cheering him on? If you don't have a gym, which we don't have a gym for another 30 days, um, we kind of have to improvise. Ultimate test is to see if it's Sebastian approved. Can you get it? Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> He's like, no. Grab it, grab it. Well, guys, this is your quarantine uh, DIY project. If you work out and you have to work out at home and maybe your base is undone and your metal beam is sticking out too, you can make yourself a pulley. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> You did good.